Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave back. I'm Cal. Eric. Aaron. And we are back with Community. Last time on Community. Critical Film Studies. Yep. Cougar Town. Yep. Wildebeest Nazis. Yes. And My Dinner with Andre. And Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Brain Transplants. And British Fire. No, wait, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm confused. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, Never mind. Fucking, I don't know if I can look at Joel McHale. You've got a class on how to write jokes. Oh, don't take that. I dropped it after the lesson on setups. The professor yeah. is so old. She didn't take the class anymore, did she? So many classes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she knows. What? I lost my virginity. Just pick one. They all cost the same. You can always take the actor inside with me and Troy. Who, indeed? A critical analysis of television's Who's the Who's Boss? Who's the Boss? Mm. Is the author of this book. We got him? I know. So we got you him. How do you say ha ha in Italian? I'll look it up. Come on, Jeff. It'll be fun. I can, I can give you... When I wasn't shielding the wealthy from justice, I was drinking their finest wines. I assume shielding the wealthy from justice. <laughs> and it's ha ha. <laughs> 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 All electric forms must be in by the end of the day. Who's that? Oh, nice job, Manuel. And good news, there's still plenty of room in my PA announcements class. Just ten bucks an hour. What? <laughs> really need some money. <laughs> That's why he was there. You're taking this too? Hell yeah. I drank late. Thought he was in jail. <laughs> Can't hold him. Look, Look at, at that his, zipper. Look at his ripped zipper. <laughs> Are you present? Yeah. From before your. <gasps> wow. That's like from uh, uh, Caddyshack. Why would a woman want a Plymouth on cinder blocks when she could have a Testarossa 500 horsepower with a six-speed stick? Because my stick is ribbed for her. <laughs> I think those are wrinkles. I think those are wrinkles. Please take weird haircut, stupid grin, and go sniff another dog's ass. <laughs> Trevor St. McGood body or David? I don't think it's the word. David. David. Like the way he said David. I don't know why. Form a trust circle around me and sit on the floor. A trust circle? It's just, just the guy circle. with the gun. Circle. Sit down. <laughs> oh, that's who he is, isn't it? Yeah. Like, this guy looks familiar. Yeah. Stop taunting me. I just want to go on the swings. Good. Early childhood is a treasure trove. <laughs> that happened this morning. Oh. <laughs> this morning. Oh. It was very hard being popular. <clears throat> what a loser. Okay, great. Next person. Every time I go to say something, somebody just... My uncle put his finger in my no-no. Is he lying? Just interrupted what she was saying. Which is exactly what she was complaining about. Is it a lie? I don't know. Uncle. Finger. Uncle no no. No no. I am Professor Peter Sheffield. I know this guy too. Yep. 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 Who was the boss? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna take it so yes. seriously. Angela. <laughs> loser. <laughs> loser? Is it the same guy saying loser <laughs> and everything? <laughs> One day soon, that man's gonna run out of ways to shock people. Everybody? But today's not that day. <laughs> and we're getting married. What? Oh, uh, woo. It's not gonna be today. <laughs> it's not gonna be today. She said the same thing. <laughs> Mentioned that her breasts were larger than most Asian women. And uh, we just got to talk. How did that work? We were meant to be together forever. <laughs> or uh, at least until she gets heavy. And uh, now we must leave you. Tend your own garden. I'll see you in class. So emotional. I didn't have a painful experience to share in acting class, so I made up this story about my uncle trying to touch my butt. Yep. But it's attracted to men in pain. It helps her pretend to be mentally healthy. Really? Yeah. I hadn't noticed. Man, I love Troy. That. Hmm? I have to think really hard about how to defuse the situation. No, Uncle Lucius, I don't want to play in the laundry Lucius? room. Lucius? Yeah. My emotions. My mouth. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. My mother will make the customary shark's fin soup, and my father shark's will make shark. and make. My father's lawyers will take care of this. Ah, uh, she's uh, the rich all, one. We must mm. our hmm. Huh. Now I'm stumped. Now I'm stumped. <laughs> why were you grilling her? You know why. Listen, I'm gonna bust into her apartment. Do you have any grappling hooks? <laughs> <laughs> that's why they call me Irony Free Annie. Mm, trust me, that's not what they call you. What? What do they call her? I will not repeat it. My mind is open, Professor. It's as open as the door to Mona's bedroom. It's a shame yours isn't. I beg your pardon. 
<laughs> Why don't you teach the next class? That way you could share your open mind with everybody. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm excited for this. I'm glad to be a part of it. I never watched Who's the Boss. You are funny, and you are like Oprah. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> they bond in like this. Someone who's willing to stomach your imminent dementia and press Imminent the dementia. Thank you, Jeff. I'm like an insatiable baboon in the bedroom. Don't sell yourself short. You're a baboon everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like just yesterday, me and Abed dined and ditched here. Oh. In China, they put the last name first. I mean, they're nuts over there. <laughs> Mei Han Long Wu? Is that what he's saying then? Red Dragon White? It's corporate it's sabotage. Mm. Cornhole. Pierce! Troy was molested! <gasps> cool. <clears throat> I don't think Britta should be saying that for one, Troy. but two, it's also a lie. <laughs> 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 I wasn't so much molested as much as I made it up. What? We're gonna laugh so hard about this later. She works for Red Dragon Wipes, the number two wipe in Asia, currently attempting a takeover of Hawthorne Wipes, corporate spy. And to me, for being attractive enough to get a girl like her under normal <laughs> It's all so insecure. <laughs> he is. Very impressive, Veronica Mars. <laughs> learn how to use Google. And you learned her accent's good. Cool. You suck. Yeah, her accent just vanished. Wait, huh? wait, wait. <laughs> Record scratch app. Useful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Remember that Arnold app I had at one time? Yep. The rest went with Chang to your place to have a ketchup fight. Oh, geez, I better get back there before he starts playing Monkey Drop. What's Monkey ask? Drop? Damn it. Oh, uh, why would I want to go anywhere with Judas Winger? Judas? Judas? She was just using you to get your company in China. And I was just using her to get her company in the sack. <laughs> I liked her. She was busty. <laughs> I was trying to help you. I think what you were trying to do is prove that no woman could want me. Eh, that's, you think you might have a point there. Mm -hmm. Maybe someday you'll fall for someone who's healthy. Someone who, other than his irrational fear of automatic toilets, is normal. Hmm. I hate automatic oh, toilets as well, but I don't this. fear them. My uncle never stuck his finger in my plop plop. I know, I'm bummed about it too. I'm sorry, I... Pain of not having enough pain. <laughs> Still pain, young man. We're not writers. We're actors. We're not writers. Story. Doesn't matter here. <laughs> All that matters is our time in the spotlight. I love, <laughs> I love that writers wrote this. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> the empirically provable answer to the question Who's the boss? Is. Did he just prove to him? Angela Bauer. Got him. Class dismissed. Class is over. You have all the answers now. Yep. He has to write a new book. Class dismissed! I mean, that's like saying that Anakin Skywalker isn't the chosen one. Like, that's changing shit, you know? Sure. If you could prove that, yeah. you're going to make a lot of people upset. And write a new book. Use his information. It's a path you take. A path you take. Hey, listen to the intro. Who's the boss? No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what was happening? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish it was just the guy. <laughs> no, you can't just do that. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> You're paying. You're dressing slutty. Fine. How about Mexican? How about Thai? They're like Chinese Mexicans. <laughs> so true. They're gonna get along so good. They're like Chinese Mexicans? It's hard to be Jewish. It's hard to be Jewish. It's hard to be Jewish in Russia. No, it's hard to be Jewish. It's hard to be Jewish. It's hard to be Jewish. <laughs> to be Jewish. <laughs> Dreidels. <laughs> what was that? That it was, was uh, an adaptation. They uh, started with tradition, the opening number. Is it hard to be Jewish From, in Russia? Uh, Tevye. Huh? Is it hard to be Jewish in Russia? It is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I have no idea. It was during that time. 
Teffy has a whole song about, man, if I were rich, it would be great. If I were rich. rich. All day long I'd be biddy bum If I were a wealthy man I wouldn't have to work hard Come on, Aaron I, I've never seen it I wasn't in it I don't know anything about it I had the soundtrack And, and this, I listened to that and it, All no, day I don't hear yep. any fiddles in the song But we don't have any fiddles here Nope I don't know there's a fiddle in that song There it is that gun in the drawer <laughs> got me it, so he hard. He like opened it, stopped it, and he opened more. I know, <laughs> but just the idea that he's changed his mind and that who's the boss is like it's finally answered. His his life has changed. His beliefs, you know, it's that thing like you don't get to choose your beliefs. You're convinced of something you're not. And Abed convinced him. Sure, and it ruined everything. Yeah. I love and he's it like, so, what is? It's such dark comedy. It is. It, it that what was happening? <laughs> that was great. I also love like, I mean, uh, another dark comedy is that yeah. Troy makes up a story yeah. to have a emotional traumatic history mm-hmm. that he doesn't have. Yeah, and they just go, the pain of no pain is still pain, and then they just explain it away. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, because the plot doesn't matter. Fucking actors, yeah. they're not the writers. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. we're not the writers. The story doesn't matter. It's, no. it was such a good a, like, actor uh, makes stuff work regardless. It's such yeah. like a meta feeling response while also like they're in an acting class so yeah. like it also kind of doesn't have that sure. it just it was and he's speaking to great. the camera yeah. like the audience. Yeah. In the spotlight. <laughs> you know, yeah. Just stare at the camera. And to be fair to the teacher of the the class of uh, who's the boss. The point of classes like that isn't necessarily to answer those questions, but it, it, it's it's the journey and getting to that question, right? Mm-hmm. Relating to your, like, well, what are the themes and, and all that stuff? Like, Aaron and I put a class on Star Wars every month with Badonka Gonk. The shit that we get into and that we talk about, you know, by starting with what a midichlorians. Sure, you know, yeah. we go deep. Yeah. So I relate to that. But man, it's so funny that that guy got his question finally answered. Who's yeah, the boss. And, and I love that it's Abed that does it too. <laughs> Me too. Even Abed's thing too of uh, like basically reading what Troy's doing and being yeah. like, "This isn't gonna end well," you know? Yeah. Like, just like here's like, exactly what Britta does. Britta's <laughs> attracted to men with, in pain. Yeah, like, he pinpoints that exactly. He pinpoints yeah. who's the boss. He he just has this way of like he's watching and seeing. Mm-hmm. He's watching stories unfold in almost a meta standpoint for the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but also just like, I think he, yeah. he watches a lot of TV, so he understands what's going on with stuff. I mean, that's how he processes his own thoughts and feelings. Sure, right? Like he, he has a he has a problem letting them out, but he can do that. Like I thought, honestly, that class is kind of perfect for him. Mm-hmm. It's just that that the professor was stubborn. Yeah, the professor had a closed mind yeah. while he was teaching the class. Yeah, man, I thought a clue during this episode. Yeah, clue, clue, the movie. Oh, not the game. Not the game. Okay. The movie. What? Uh, it was just because in the movie, uh, they serve shark fin soup. Mm. And that was one of uh, uh, Mei Hong Long's woos. Yep. Like, the mother's yeah. dishes. Shark yeah. fin soup. I've never had it before. Yeah, me either. I, apparently, it's very, 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 very tasty. But the ways of making that a, uh, a meal that a lot of people can have are quite terrible. And many say not worth it. What they do to sharks, sure, to get their fins. Some I mean, it's just cut like, their fins off and then yeah. throw them back in the ocean. Yeah, and I, they can't like swim. I understand, shit. like the hypocrisy, oh, like kill them and like harvest the oh, shark always, or anything. No. They, well, I mean, I they, mean it's, it's 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 kind of like a a thing where they tranquilize an elephant, cut its uh, tusks off, mm-hmm. and then just let it wake up in pain, as if we yeah. just knocked you out, ripped all your teeth out, and then let you wake up with yeah. no anesthesia or anything. Gordon Ramsay has a little special or maybe even just like a video essay on, I saw on YouTube from him where he's like, look, I'm Gordon Ramsay. I know when things are taste good. This is an amazing meal. And then he shows you like, it ain't worth it. So, hmm. yeah. Every time I hear about that, I always think about that special. Uh, I've never seen it. I just <sighs> think about in Clue, there's like a person who's like, they're shark they're eating soup. something like, oh, this is one of my favorite dishes. Oh, yeah. And they're just like eating the shark sure. and soup. Yeah. I mean, you know, Wagyu beef is... Very, very tasty, you know, but yeah. some would say not worth it. Veal, <laughs> you know, sure. stuff like that. But do you guys have, like, a favorite elective class? Calvin? I don't know about you. Um, Probably the class that was the most hellish, but I afterwards enjoyed the most was interpersonal communications. Yeah. Intercession class. It was a 
a 12 or 16 week class that was compressed down into two weeks mm. we went to class every day for two weeks every day okay and we had to write like a six to eight page paper every day and the first week we had our midterm paper which was like a 20 page paper mm -hmm. and we had uh, at the end of the second week we had our term paper that was like a 40 page paper and it was about pages, as good as it gets with jack nicholson yeah yeah all right we did pages. like a, a an entire like character breakdown and yeah. like why he why his character made the decisions that he made and you know what could have been like maybe underlying psychological issues or emotional trauma that mm -hmm. could have you know guided him to making that decision kind of sure. thing it was it was all about like nonverbal communication gotcha. and stuff like that it was really interesting hmm. i liked it a lot hmm. i didn't have any electives in college i think i just was taking like the main things in high school i don't know rick and i took website design together in like sophomore year yeah and in that class i think rick and i knew the most out of the rest of the class so the teacher kind of like just let us go and just let us do things and we just make websites of doing whatever and then whenever we we're done with our projects or our work for the day we would spend the rest of the class either we would play games but most of it was spent trying to get around bessie i don't know if you had bessie in high school but it was like a yeah the, yeah the dog it was the blocker on the, on the God internet so that you couldn't man. just go to any website you wanted to in, in school <laughs> and rick and i would find all these different alternative ways to get to the websites we wanted to yeah. by getting around bessie oh. and it was funny because like the teacher sat right behind us and yeah. would watch and see everything we were doing sure but he didn't care but you're learning we just we did our yeah. stuff we got our class stuff done mm -hmm. then we would spend time on the internet learning how to get around to find other things on the internet yeah <laughs> he just let us sure. go and that was also one of the rooms where my my house key worked to unlock the door that's cool so like i would we would be waiting outside because we had it was fifth period and the period was like 30 minutes lunch 30 minutes because there would be lunch first, lunch second, lunch third. We were yep. in the second group. So we had a class, which we would do all of our work. Then yep. we'd go to uh, lunch. Lunch. And then the last half, we just, Rick and I usually just mess around. Gotcha. But the teacher would take so long and not get back right away that we would just be waiting in the hall. That's why we would start testing our keys because we were bored in the hallway. And, and you found your skeleton. And we found out that my yeah. key worked and all the guys like, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> They'd see me coming back. Like, Open the door. Get us in. I haven't heard that before. <laughs> Aaron had a key that would just like open random lock sometimes. Yeah. It just opened doors yeah. in my high school. <laughs> yeah. It went to my house, but it opened just mm -hmm. random doors. It was great. I could always get into the printer, which is one of the great things. Like, we had, like, drama class. The whole school would be closed, right, locked up because we were doing stage stuff mm -hmm. and everyone else had left. It's like, man, we need to print this. I'm like, oh, hey, I got you. Yeah. Then we just go. Teacher wouldn't ask any questions. <laughs> they never asked why, how we got it printed. We just did it. <laughs> My favorite elective class I took was kendo when I was at Liberty University. And I was, I was the best of those bigoted Christians. <laughs> There wasn't anybody there that like there was like five people in the class and yeah. no one cared like no the only like they were there because they're like it was like a I don't know the person that was teaching it like begged people I was like the only person that actually signed up to do it and yeah. no one else wanted to do it really so I was just like oh, I fucking want to do it so I started hitting people as hard as I could with it <laughs> oh man that's funny liberty um but it tore the fuck out of my feet. Because we did it on a hard gym floor, like mm. basketball gym floor, and you got to do it barefoot. And I, ain't, I don't do shit barefoot. Yeah. I got a lot of weight bearing down on those bare feet. Melanie's karate went through the college. So yeah. like, that was one of her electives that she did. Yeah. And then high school, I loved drama. I loved uh, ag, FFA. Yeah. That was fun. I did drama, and I did uh, mock trial. Mock trial with Judge Ryan. I, I did band. Yeah. I did English. Mm-hmm. English was an elective? <laughs> Maybe not for everyone. <laughs> you know my senior English paper was effectively a death battle before they did death battles? Oh, really? Is my, that what you made to yeah, be? Like this could, versus this? M Mrs. Sprague, she's like, you just write about anything you want. And I was like, okay. My paper is going to be, and it had to be a certain size and all that stuff. So sure. my, uh, my paper was about a uh, 13th century medieval knight versus a a ronin samurai and i literally like in in the you know, the actual body of the of the essay was like going through 
how they made their armor, how their swords were made, all the various things, the advantages. It's all the pre parts of the death battle, yeah. right? And then my conclusion was literally just I wrote a story in which I choreographed this fight and all the things that happened had something to do with the weaknesses or advantages that they had. And Mrs. Sprague said, this is one of the most creative things anybody's ever written in this class. But you misspelled a lot, <laughs> so you gotta be. <laughs> but you misspelled a lot. Yeah, we didn't have we didn't have auto correct shit back then. <laughs> That's funny. Like you created a death battle before death battle was out. Yeah. Stuff. I uh, closing ahead of that was like there was one time we had to write. It was just a creative writing class. Yeah. And I took what occurred in forums for a game that we played, me and Rick, for called Battlescope. Uh huh. Where like there was literally no story to this game. The whole yeah. thing was like you you were in space. You found planets, you would colonize planets, you would gather resources, you would then like expand your planet and your fleet and go out and colonize more stuff. And if you found other people, you could attack them and you could cause wars and fight each other. And then people would make alliances and stuff. Yeah. But there was a forum where it was like a role playing forum. Mm-hmm. And we were having meetings, we were trying to peace this war. Rick and I were like peacekeepers, like we were like Jedi coming in trying to like keep this war from happening and spreading Sweet. across the galaxy. And I took like what happened in the forums. And made that a creative story and did that. Yes. Like, we were there, like, here's the peace talks, everything. One guy gets mad and leaves the peace talks. Mm-hmm. And then, like, like days later, while we're still having peace talks, like, he's left. He comes back in, he has his fleet, and he just starts attacking, like, everyone else on the yeah. other side. And the war just breaks out. And, like, Rick and I were, like, fighting. And, like, he was Sir Gunblade. So we had a gunblade. I was, like, Star Wars something or whatever, mm-hmm. and I had a lightsaber. And we, like, cut a hole in the floor. We fell through. We ran to our ships. Got out of there. <laughs> Sounds fun. I just remember all that. Like, that was my, one of my favorite, like, creative writing things. And yeah. it was just all based on, like, what happened in the forums. Uh, Pierce has a new... They didn't get married, but... No, they're going friend. on a date. Well, yeah. you think they'll stick together? Sure. I mean, he's probably always looking for. They could merge and just be the the moist talent company of the world. They could. Like he said that he's huge in China, but maybe yeah. like theirs is big in other places, and they just combine and just take over everything. Yeah, could be Pierce Dragon or Red Pierce or. Now, if you have a moist towelette, I don't know. <laughs> do you just make moist towelettes? Because I'm assuming they're just like they're for. Right? They're, like, they're like wet ones. They're wet ones yeah. that because they were at the restaurant, right? It's like, oh, that's that's where they got it. But like, would you also like? Okay, I'm gonna make eyeglass cleaner wipes. Like, do you make all kinds of wipes, or do you stick with just restaurant wipes for after dinner? Like, yeah. do you make like I mean wipes moist, for you know cleaning the inside of your car? A or, moist towelette, yeah, could be moist with lots of different lots of liquids, liquids, and yeah. chemicals and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, and the towelette piece itself, yeah, that's could just be the that same just thing, means right? a small piece of cloth. Yeah, or yeah. so you just keep the like same that. one, and then you just put it with different types of chemicals for yeah. different situations, and sure. you sell them, right? And then you just repackage yeah, it. You just different gotta, labels. Yeah, watch out for like, oh no, the this towelette has hit this towelette, and the chemicals have combined, and it's a bomb. You know, you don't want that to happen. Or chlorine gas. Yeah. Chlorine okay. gas. What are we doing? Yeah. Gotta be careful. Ah, damn! My towelettes mixed together and made mustard gas. <laughs> Leach you pneumonia. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they'll stick together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I did like what Pierce said. Like, there's a weird thing. Like Pierce, I'm like ah, fucking Pierce. But then other times, like man, I kind of feel bad for him. You know what I mean? Like, sure. There's like this mixture of that. He's a good character. Just because a character is bad does not make him good. Sure. Wait. You know what I mean? Everyone knows what I mean. I don't know. But anyway, except for young children, they don't know what I mean because they haven't had. Those experiences yet, <laughs> but having him be like, I liked her. She was busty. She was you know, busty. like saying that. Yeah. He's like, but I think you just did this because you wanted to prove yeah. I can't get a woman. You know, and I'm like, I, I could see that that's what Jeff was doing. Was like, why? Both. Why couldn't I get yeah. her and you could? Yeah. There's something up. I should be able to get any woman. You know, both were true. Yeah. So I just it, it had that moment where I was like, I kind of feel bad for Pierce. <laughs> yeah. But I think he's right. And we got to see young, handsome Chevy Chase. <laughs> I'm, I think that was from. Uh, Caddyshack. Caddyshack. It really reminded me of the Caddyshack. Yeah. Um, what if I can find like the poster, or whatever. Yeah, like there was like a painting of like Chevy Chase in his house in Caddyshack. I mean, I'm sure somebody's already done this. Like, where's this picture from in this community episode? But the question is, did they change it at all? Photoshop it at all? I'm afraid of having community because I don't know if they'll do other things. Because like it's definitely like, like it was kind of like that age of him. Yeah. And he had. I want to know if there was a painting, and I have no idea where the painting would have been. I don't know how to. I could look. Can you up. just do like Caddyshack painting? Maybe. Let me see know. if my Google Foo can beat your Google Foo. I mean, I could just go to IMDb and see if there's, if there's information. <laughs> Apparently, the slogan 
on that is you become more beautiful with every bottle. <laughs> uh, I suppose it's what it's supposed to say. And I, I also love, like, because I just thought, oh, no, this is an old wine bottle. But no, it was made in 2009. Yeah. He just used a picture of when he was young. Yep. All right. <laughs> Apparently it's also uh, not quite right. Yeah. Like, it should have, like, the, the wording should be different. It technically translates to yours be. Yours become more beautiful, a male adjective, with every bottle a female yeah. substantive. So, like, it's kind of wrong, too. Sure. But it's close to being right. But that right. was probably done on purpose because, of course, he wouldn't. Probably, yeah, have right? Like, he always yeah. seems to mess up Because he was like, things. oh, Italian. Yeah. Molto bene. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yeah. all he said. <laughs> oh, so, he probably just man. learned the minimum amount. But I don't see about the. Uh, Oh, right. it's from Fletch. Oh, Fletch. Okay, gotcha. Why would Fletch be considered suitable when he's not Italian? So they put a picture of him when he, from Fletch days. Interesting. He had like two or three movies of Fletch, I think. Yeah. I don't know if you guys ever saw those. Hmm. Nope. He was Fletch, and he was like an investigative reporter. Yeah. And he was just like looking into these different like situations and gotcha. stuff. Hmm. Uh, now we come to the part of the video that the timestamp was just automatic toilets. Calvin, you don't like them? Um, I don't like when I'm sitting on them. And they go off. Like I rest my arms on my knees, mm. and it just oh, he stood up. Yep. Time to flush. We're gonna tickle oh. your balls. It's time to make a cyclone of cold water and air splashing all over his nethers. Yep. And you're using like if you're in a place and you use like one of those like seat covers and yeah. it just sucks the seat cover too. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> They're also it's like a the tablecloth trick. <laughs> Won't you find them to be a little too high as well? The toilets? Automatic toilets. No. You mean tall off the ground? Tall off the ground. I have long legs, so I appreciate it. I mean, it. I do too. I, I like a chair height toilet. I, I like, like a, the standard height. I like a, sm- a shorter toilet. It feels more squatty. I just, squatty potty. I just lean forward. Just put your feet up on the seat. Yeah. If if it if, if the angle, like, if your thigh to abdomen angle, yeah. like, if that's what you're going for, you can achieve that by just leaning forward. Yeah, I know, but then if it does go off, and I don't want to get a, but a see, showering of, you, of my balls. You leaning forward is more likely to activate said automatic toilet. Yeah. Yeah, but that's if I'm just, like, if I just go like that, sometimes it'll lose track of me. Now, if you're like Troy and have a fear of them... Like, is that just like, <laughs> no, don't go off. Is, it, is that what's going on? I mean, I would, I, I couldn't presume mm. what yeah. about them he is afraid of. Whether it's the, like, the balloon pop of not yeah. knowing exactly when they're going to flush yeah. when or, you stand up. Or is it just like it's scary because where is technology Don't, don't tell Melanie. Or who's, who's watching. Who's watching? Dude, yeah. that was, like, when I was who, a kid. Who knows oh. when, when to flush it? Yeah, when I was a kid. There's a little man in there. They, little, the button, they used that. to have exactly. on the wall a little, yeah. like, square, and, and it had that little black little, circle, right? Yeah. And, and I'm like, there's someone in there light. looking? Yeah. Is that what it is? There, or there's is there a, a space camera? between the men's and the women's bathrooms, and there's a guy standing in there looking to make sure like that watching he's cameras. Yeah, he just pushes the flush. He's looking for my no-no. Yeah. Well, your plop plop. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Community. We hope that you enjoy. And uh, we hope you answer the question, who's subscribed to Blind Wave? Not who's the boss, who's subscribed? If it's you, you can leave, you're fine. But if, not you're, but, if you're, but if you're not, we got a clash you got to take. We got bra. Yep, yep. See you Monday morning at 8 a.m.